Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And did you know, okay, NORAD, the Santa Tracker, did 20 million, okay, 20 million visitors came there in one day. Oh, and they didn't respond too, and it was interactive. 20 million. 20 million. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to the Obamacare? Oh, wait, excuse me. Affordable health care site, which is having a difficult time with, what, 20,000 people accessing it? Okay, NORAD, okay, that website has been up for. How 20 many? years. 20 years? Yeah. It was done 20 years ago, and it can handle 20 million at one time. Uh, it must be Santa's, right? Um, well, for now, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, I'm good. I know. It's so, <laughs> we, we have brand new equipment. Is it on? With, yeah. I have no clue. I can't. I can, There's I a red light. Red light. I know. Oh, it says REC when I look close. Yeah. No. <laughs> if you can't see it, then it's running. <laughs> I can't see. If you look real close, it yeah, says REC. Yeah, little tiny thing. It's just the way this one is. We got, brand, we got a brand new wireless camera that we're playing with, and basically, it's, it's basically we're learning how what to do with it, because it's meant to have. A, it's got a monitor that is wire Wi-Fi, which we're not attached to anymore. Yeah, and it's intended to be. It's it's, it's intended to set up and leave. Yeah, and then but you, with better audio. Yeah, with great. Oh God, it's got the best audio that we've ever had on a recording device, other than having two mics stuck in front of somebody. So, mm -hmm. and it's all over for the Republicans. Who daddy says we'll do this again? He said, you know why it's all over? Because a couple of days ago they had said the the comedians had got together and voted. The best joke of the year was the Republican National Committee saying that the incumbents were going to run not on putting a stake through the heart of Obamacare, but fixing it to make it better. And then this morning they found out there was, okay, did the Republican leaders bother to read the, the Budget Act they passed? No. It seems that the, the, the uh, Sebelius basically killed part of the Affordable Care Act, which basically said, uh, remember where it said everybody gets a pre-existing care covered under a new Obamacare, which she's basically going to want to call Obamacare, mm -hmm. and everybody's cheering that. Turns out this morning they announced that uh, because it's too expensive, that you're not going to get uh, there's there's no treatment for pre-existing diseases. That there's no extending treat extended treatment for it. That don't have the money to cover. It. So if you come in with a pre-existing degree disease that takes uh, care. You're screwed, folks. Oh, and then what's another one? Oh, this is another good one that the Republicans didn't know about. I, like uh, a few days ago, I was hit and ran by an automobile in an intersection. Well, I was wearing white, as you can sort of see it, and my hair went exactly dark. Uh, it turns out that Obamacare doesn't cover accidents. Oh my God. Yeah, so that I would not, uh, the cost of taking care of the injury is based, you know, since it's not an on-the-job accident and there's no OSHA, there's nothing to cover it, basically, uh, since most accidents do not happen where you're insured, and a business doesn't necessarily have to be insured anymore because of Obamacare, they could, uh, they're canceling insurance policies on businesses for employees. So look at, look at uh, for instance, if you get hurt, you're going to end up paying a lot of money out of your own pocket under Obamacare. That used to be covered by health insurance you used to have. See, before, insurance I had would have covered being hit in an intersection. Mm -hmm. And once again, the president changes the rules for Obamacare. Oh, yeah. He, um, he, um, the, the rules are, okay, that, that while he has, uh, hit, while the Affordable Care website is the greatest piece of uh, engineering ever done, it turns out now the state exchanges are collapsing under the weight of all the people that, you know, like the 20, the 40, the 50 that are dropping by a day. And he said that uh, in order, because the state exchanges are now collapsing because of Republicans' interference, which means they did nothing, he's having to delay it until the 10th of January now. Oh, what else did they say? Uh, oh, this is we're going to repeat the words from one of the de one of the one of the people running the insurance uh, you know the insurance in the country. He said, as far as we know, we don't have one goddamn person signed up for the program. We haven't got one single payment in from anybody in the United States, including the man in the White House. Ah. Not one payment. The deal. Okay, what is the date? It's the twenty seventh of the month. Mm -hmm. They have four days. To get the, and they can't get the pay. There's no way on earth two of those the one two of those days the post office isn't working. 
So they have two days to get their payments in. And oh, really? We, no one's going to be cut. They said, we go from people, we go from maybe 30 to 40 million that weren't insured to uh, everybody that's on Obamacare and everybody's been canceled having no insurance whatsoever. But don't worry, the president changed the rules again. Well, they would just simply insure everybody until payments are made. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to happen. And Czech Party Head says he should hold two jobs in the coalition. I know. He's going to be the president. He's going to be the president and the prime minister, which means that the Soviets are taking control of all those countries back again. And Arctic protester vows to fight on after the Russian case closed. Well, no, they didn't, they didn't dump them for lack of evidence. They just tossed their rear ends out of the country. Rather than have them clog up a jail, they just threw them out after, after jailing them. Happens. Yeah. And wow. if they told them, if we catch you in our waters again, you will have broken our country's laws because you're here illegally then. Mm. And Obama signs a defense and budget bills into law. Yeah, in which he screwed all of the uh, veterans, which basically, I, I put something on Is Facebook. Is that supposed to be a surprise to them? Yeah, but I, last night I put a thing on Facebook which really, it got no comments because they said uh, it had to do with the fact that uh, it's really nice about all what all the people are doing in Hollywood for all these Iraqi and Afghanistan veterans. But what about the World War II veterans, the Korean veterans, the uh, veterans of the of Vietnam, the veterans of the first of the first Gulf War, he said they they're not getting anything from anybody. What about all the injuries that these guys had? Where's our houses? Where's our mobile steward things? They said we're not getting any of them. And Russia may answer conventional attacks with nukes. Yep, Russians are preparing to go. The Russians are now preparing under Putin to go completely uh, ballistic. And Obama basically well. Because Obama is a, okay folks, you got to understand, Obama is not a socialist, he's a communist because he believes in economic redistribution. You know, you got to have businesses to do economic re to redistribution like the Soviets have. Mm -hmm. It's just, the, the, his elite will run it, so, um, uh, it, it, you know, and he believes, well, they couldn't possibly do this. How could they fire a nuclear missile at somebody? Because they got them and mm -hmm. they can do it. And Dish and DirecTV wish customers a Merry Christmas by hiking prices. Customers all demanded they sign new deals with all these companies. They did, and when they signed the new deals with the companies, the companies are all charging more for their services and that gets passed on to the customer. Uh -huh. Herbie Daddy said that's how it works in the real universe. And Okinawa approves relocation of U.S. airbase in Japan. Oh well, yeah, Obama basically, uh, Obama wants the defense of Japan turned over to people. Okay, uh, everybody knows my wife was Japanese. My, my, my mother-in-law was Japanese. When my father went to the wedding, they, my, uh, they, my father presented my mother-in-law with a very expensive set of samurai swords and she wanted to know what, you know, for this great gift, what she could do. And my father said, cut your damn head off. Yeah, wow. he had, because he said that, uh, and Cynthia told me, you know, you can't trust us. He said, my, my grandfather, if he was still alive, would basically kill every American he could find because they think they're better than all of us. Mm -hmm. And she said, they, for the first thing my grandfather would have done was to kill me mm -hmm. because my father was German. So, mm -hmm. so. And India continues. And, and she said it just like point blank, like the fact of life. Yeah, he would have killed her. And India continues to react angrily to arrest of diplomat in the U.S. Oh yeah, basically the United Nations is preparing to sanction the United States over it. They have demanded that the United States adhere to international law and uh, they may declare the UN uh, a, no uni uh, a zone in which American diplomats are not allowed into. What? Yep, because, the Ameri because Obama's people arrested an Indian diplomat why? And, uh, because she didn't pay taxes on it. She didn't pay her fair taxes on employees she had hired. Oh, and therefore, I, you know, Herbie Daddy says, they have diplomatic immunity. You can kill some. Have you ever, I mean, I worked on an episode of McLeod once where a diplomat uh, uh, ran over somebody and they just ran back to the embassy and then, well, they, oh, you can't get them in the embassy. And they just came out of the embassy and told told. Uh, McLeod, well, there's nothing you can do because he's got diplomatic immunity and uh, all we can do is ship him back to his country. Mm -hmm. We cannot arrest him for hit and run. 
And um, that's the way it is. Obama had somebody arrested because he didn't like him, and then yeah, now we're paying a penalty. And Obama's, uh, and Kerry said that they're going to have to obey the laws of our nation, whether they like it or not. That isn't the way what it works. What happened to illegal aliens, too? <laughs> well, they <laughs> don't have illegal. to. Only, <laughs> only uh, they said, only diplomats that mean, have immunity from prosecution must obey our laws. Oh, you mean illegal aliens can do more than diplomats now? Yeah. Oh. Because they're, they're more important to Obama. I mean, of course, if it was a Muslim that had done it, not a Hindu, who the Muslims don't like, because I, I know I know um, Indian actors who basically have hid the fact for decades that they were Muslims. Mm -hmm. And when they found out they were Muslims, their careers ended. Oh really? Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, oh, the devil is always in the details.